when Scott Frost was the head coach, it opened on early Sunday at seven and a half in favor of Oklahoma. Scott Frost gets fired. The line immediately reacts. It gets up to 13 and a half. Now it's found that middle ground area, 10 and a half for most of this week. Now at 11 and a half in favor of OU on the road inside Memorial Stadium today. What's your approach? Well, I go back to the days of 1982, Ben. Ooh. Marcus mm. Dupree racing down the sidelines in Lincoln and Memorial Stadium. One of my all-time favorite OU running backs back in the day. But typically, I would be inclined to take the underdog. I just mm. say, you know, now that Scott Frost is out, the players want to show that they can win. And it's obviously a rivalry game. Playing at home, they want to erase that memory of Georgia Southern. But I can't do it with a defense that's given up 207 rushing yards to opposing offenses. Secondary is getting absolutely abused. Here's the other factor as well. Mark Whipple's there, what, three weeks? <laughs> three weeks? Is he on the phone calling up for other coaches and other jobs? You need an OC for bowl time? That's the one thing in terms of the interim staff. Are they checked in or are they checked out outside of Mickey Joseph? That's a concern for me. Even though Oklahoma played down to Kent State last week, I think they're geared up for this. I like Brett Venables in this spot. I think OU rolls in this matchup. 